Hey there, everyone. We're sitting here at uh, 550 feet. Uh, it looks like... Yeah, that's right. I played a good chunk at this level, but um, I think I ran out of steam. Let me check my notes. Room above Donut Dalt has Shadow Spider. Oh, right. I went back and looked at that video. I think that was a bat. I'm not sure that was a shadow spider or not, but uh, anyways, so we're here, I guess we were headed in this direction, what was our status here, that's right, we had, oh, we had found a lamp, I got rid of that stupid amulet that was draining my constitution, and wow, do we have a lot of weapons, this is a little bit out of hand. Mm. Uh, is that popcorn? The Lesser Jewel of Finwi. Looks like my grandpa was here. Well, it doesn't say how how drowned the uh, the line of Fionor I am, but I have never seen this before. What is this thing? When Morgoth slew Finwi. Wait, did I get my Silmarillion crossed? Who was the guy that... Oh yeah, that's right, he was at home. And Fionor was bitching about something and Morgoth went in and killed him. I always get him mixed up. I thought it was Mim the Dwarf that killed uh, Finwi, but that's clearly wrong. Okay, now that I've proved myself to be a huge nerd, what is this? It provides resistance to fire. That's pretty cool. It gives us more light. That's, uh, too bad it doesn't give true sight. Um, okay, so what I usually like to do with Lesser Jewels uh, is not necessarily to use them as my main light source, although this one is really good because it's got resist fire. But what I generally like to do is keep them in my inventory and use a lamp instead. And then if I get into trouble with like a dark causing monster, I can actually drop the jewel on the ground because it stays lit up and that gives you extra light. But I wonder if this one gives radius to light like on the ground. I imagine it does. They're pretty good about details like that. So let's use the rest of the oil in the shitty lamp. Let's destroy it. And now let's carry this with us. And I want to get into a dark room and see how this thing works. Let's, let's go explore this chunk. Ah! Alright, I'm not sure if... I think we saw Balrog in our last video series, but that was like seven months ago. They haven't changed since then. This one, I feel bad for this guy. Least of the Balrogs, you know? The other Balrogs push him around, take his lunch money. Um, Druin Flame of the Night. Interesting. Cannot be frightened. Well, the, uh, he doesn't hit. His hit's not that bad. 2d12. Well, it'll kill me, pretty much. But um, Plus 18. Yeah, that's pretty good. It means he'll hit me pretty much half the time. Hit to disarm. I didn't know getting hit to disarm actually hurt. 70 health and decent protection. Oh, we have a lot of experience. Okay, I said I was going to buff Will eventually to take Constitution. Let's put one more into Evasion. And let's back off to kill this. Okay. Now, let's see if I can sneak around this corner here. Alright, he still hasn't seen me. What if I... I think if I drink Constitution and Quickness, that should be enough. And we're early enough that I don't really worry too much about burning consumables. I, I, like, I worry a bit, but not a lot. So let's see. And 2d12... You know, if I wear this male corslet, what would I have? I'd have, well, not much more than this. Like, I could probably absorb pretty much anything he could do to me. And if I have fire resistance, he's not going to get more damage. not what I wanted to do. Alright, I'm going to use my Bastard Sword because I think that'll 
help. Let's drink. Uh, well, right now, let's just shoot at him, actually. Why is he walking backwards? Is there something in front of him? We hear a strange grunt. Okay, so the problem with that is I'm not going to know what... He has a darkness cloud around him. I'm really not going to know what is trying to kill me. Strange Grunt implies that... I think it's probably a troll, so I'm not that worried. Let's back off here. Um, well, if it was a troll, something would glow. I'm worried it's like a creeping horror or something. Do they grunt? Well, let's find it. Okay, so... How many turns do I have? If I shoot him, he'll be two away. Yeah, I got time. Oh, wow, that was a good hit. Okay, so now I'll drink quickness. It hits you, so there's something here. And now I'll drink constitution. That's a slur open. Why does the slur, well, whatever it is. I don't understand why it had priority over it. It's like demigod, but. Eh, this could be going a lot worse. I just want to kill him quick, because... Something's obviously coming. There we go. Pair of Greaves of Free Action. Oh, sure, now he drops that. That would have helped me kill him. Um, and the fact that it's glowing means there's probably a Soroka here. Okay, let's figure this out. I think... Did he die? Sweet. Okay. Pair of Greaves of Fraction plus zero one d 2 That's actually pretty good. But they weigh like a bazillion pounds. I'll almost certainly find a ring of reaction at some point, so. Well, it doesn't really matter. I'm not going for stealth. Alright, then we have this wicked bastard sword. It doesn't hit as well as ours. But it's better in terms of strength for now. See, this one we're carrying would be better right now. Sorry, later, I mean, if we if we use momentum. Whereas this other one is going to be more generally useful against uh, demons. I'm going to go pick up my arrows and think about it. You know, whenever you have a difficult task, it's good to do a menial chore. Okay. So this, I think I'm just not going to take these grease of free action. It's probably dangerous to do this, but... The only thing I can think of that's coming up soon that it's going to cause a problem not to have it are oath rates because they uh, glare at you and then they touch you for for hunger damage. But I think they don't show up until like seven hundred feet. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, realistically, we should just take this bastard sword. I wonder. You know, really, this curved sword is minus one two d five. Let's ditch the curved sword. Cause this is pretty close to the same thing. It's it's one less um, melee bonus or whatever you want to call it. But three d eight is pretty cool. And the other one would have three d eight is twenty four average. And what's the other one? Two d nine eighty that's a lot different. All right, let's do this for a while. Whatever. We're supposed to be strong. Let's do it. And then if we need to hit something, we, we have all these long swords sitting around, too. All 
And I don't know, I just feel kind of ghetto wearing a curved sword. Um, I think so damn old. Alright, looks like there's nothing this way. So yeah, those that first Balrog, uh, he's dangerous, but I, th I find with him the most dangerous thing is actually the darkness part of it. Uh, it's not necessarily... Okay. How is it hitting? Plus 17. 2d. 5. Okay. So this is actually the best way I have of diagnosing whether these things are shadow bats or shadow spiders. Um, the, I think shadow spiders hit like 2d9 or something absolutely outrageous considering you can't see them. Um, yeah, it is a shadow bat. And now he's dead because they're really not that dangerous when you can see them. Uh, I did not mean to do this. A dagger of the Fionorians. Oh, I want that throw next. Uh, Fionorian weapons are actually really badass. They give you... Oh, is this the donut vault I talked about? I thought I meant this one. What's over there, anyways? Awkwardness. Um, the Fionorian weapons give you uh, plus one dexterity and something else, grace, I think. Which is, like, incredible for a weapon. Um, but it draws more dangerous creatures to your level, uh, even if you're not wearing it. Ow! Okay, so what I just did there was super dangerous. You really shouldn't... He would have killed me if he hit me again. Uh, these Fury things are, are badass too, so they um, they always give an extra damage side, I think. And they give you Whirlwind Attack. And so this Enraging thing, I'm used... To, I, I've never really used, like, Aggravate Monster uh, in Sill. I just assumed it was, like, Angband. Oh, wow. A forge. I oh, see, I told you I'd find a ring of reaction. Um, what don't I need here? Anyways, let me just finish my thought. I never take those fury things, because I always thought rings of... Sorry, I always thought Aggravate was just awful. Like, um, Aggravate in normal Angband, you can, you can be, like, 20 feet away from a monster in a different room, and it'll wake up and come and try and kill you, which is... So obnoxious, especially in in Angband, there are so many monsters. There's like you get into pits where there's like a hundred monsters, and it gives you a message for every damn monster that wakes up. Um, I'm sure there's a way to control the output and stuff, but I just never figured it out. So I never use aggravate stuff in those games, and I thought it worked the same here, but I don't know if enrage and aggravate are the same thing. So I'm not sure if you'll wake up monsters with um, with aggravate. I think they might just turn into like how trolls behave. Which is they just rush you and never um, flee. Which actually could be useful, especially for whirlwind attack, because you want them to encounter you in an open room like that. And what's that? Is that cons sweet? Now we're getting our stuff back. Okay, we need to get out of here quick though, because these netherworld masses are going crazy. So Alright, well, I've got a great sword of Doriath now, so the Spear of Bulldog is kind of not... Oh, no, because I can use that one hand. Gondolin, my normal bastard sword. Well, I'm full, and I have food. I think I'm just going to ditch this Ring of Sustenance, or the Sanctity. Let's drop the... Yeah, let's drop the Sanctity thing, because that's just a nice to have. And if I meet an Oath Wraith, uh, I'm probably going to want uh, the Ring of Sustenance, because they, they touch to cause hunger. I should just start asking, you know, out loud for things that I want in this game, because I couldn't find light, I asked for light, I found it. Couldn't find Sanctity, I asked for Sanctity, I found it. 
Not too bad. I'd really actually, the best thing we could find at this point would be an amulet of constitution. That whirlwind glaive was actually really badass. If I was playing more generally um, and not wanting to show off kind of like a bladey momentum character, at this stage I might actually take uh, Polar Mastery and take that glaive, the, the whirlwind one, and maybe crowd fighting. That would be a lot of fun. Should I have I taken any evasion abilities? Yeah, another good one is if you find um, a sword with, like, our defender sword. Parry and Repost are... Repost? I don't know. Are, are super awesome. Um, Alright, I think that's all we're going to do for this floor. I don't really want to walk. I'm worried because this is the only downstairs we've found. And, like, I, there's no guarantee that there are downstairs over here. Um, and there's nether worms. Just, like... It's... It's buffet time here for some reason, so. Uh, which one am I hitting here? Alright. Uh, what was I saying? I don't remember. Oh yeah, nether worms. Should we make a run for it? I'm actually getting decent experience for killing these things though. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it over there before they This is dangerous. Let's as much as I'd like to know what's over there. I'm not so curious that I feel like being made into a blithering idiot. Because uh, they actually hit pretty hard, those things. I can't see one now. And then when you start getting surrounded by tons of them, your evasion essentially is zero. Um, oh, I was going to say... If I ask for an emulator constitution, I got one that this is getting out of control. Um, but yeah, the, the Herb of Restoration will only give you back your stats up to three. So it's not that uncommon to step into like a, a room full of netherworm masses if you have to wade through it and come out with like minus four grace or something. Our will is decent right now, so we'd probably resist a bit, but not a lot. Uh, okay. Any of my swords glowing? No. I feel like the only thing that bursts open doors at this level like that are Solroco. For some reason, they don't know how to use the door. Like, the hell? Um, they're just so uncivilized. And I think serpents, too. Wakey, wakey. You know what? I should really take finesse. This is absurd. I could be getting way better criticals than that. Yeah, there's just I think there's a Soroko around. Oh, at this level it could be a Ring Roko, so. Oh, hi. Mm, I really don't like you guys. What? Oh, do these guys... I always forget that they're kind of smart. Get out of my house. Come back. There are a lot of different things glowing right now, so I just want to kind of back off. Where's my... That's right. Are you kidding me? Just stand still and die. Oh, 
Oh, I know what I wanted to check. I'm just scared to do it while this wall Finally, holy shit. Okay, so let's switch to Gondolin. Um, if I drop this jewel here, all right, back away. Yeah, it really does give radius to light. That is wicked. That is super useful. Hopefully I don't lose it now. Do I see this kind of... Well, yeah, screw it. Let's just take it. Sweet! Oh my god, I am so excited. Okay, wicked. This is one of the best weapons you can find for this build. Um, it may not seem like it yet. Thank god I, I took finesse this again. I took finesse, asked the game, hey, I want something stabby, and stabbiness it gave me. Um, Dagmore is wicked because it weighs a couple pounds, right? So with four strength, which is what I have right now, if I take momentum, it's going to give me four damage sides extra. So I'll have 1d12, and I'll crit pretty much in every hit, at least once. So that's 2d12. That's not anything to sneeze at by itself. Um, and you can do a lot with it. Like if... If I, again, am having 6 strength, and I take momentum, and I end up using 2 weapon fighting or something, or rapid attack, I still hit as if I have 3 strength, which means that I'll get 3 damage sides out of it. So it's it's just badass for this build. Um, I'm going to have to get rid of something to... This longsword... I have too much shit. And it's stressing me out. Let's... This protection equipment, I'm starting to wonder if I'll ever use it again. The kite shield is so penalizing to wear. Alright, so this bastard sword we're probably not going to end up going with. Although it would be a good... Okay, forget it. I'm sure I can find something at least as good later. Um, Yeah, actually, let's let's use this lantern for a while and see how this goes. I just need to remember if something that breathes fire shows up, I I need to switch. Oh, for Christ's sake! At least though, you know, I've been lucky. They're coming one at a time. I can't fully describe how annoying that is. Like. I should arrange things so that I can actually uh, dual hand that greatsword without losing my shield. Ugh. Okay, you know what? Let's try fighting this thing without this stupid spearball dog and see how it goes. Because I think I might be selling myself short here. This thing does a lot of damage. Ah! That was a typo. That one's really hurt, but he's far. Okay, let's... Of course he flees in terror. Because he's a pansy. Um... So, one thing to be careful of, so characters with this kind of credit constitution, um, it's, once you've played with like 41 or 49 HP, you kind of, this poison, I never really pay attention to it, it's like, oh wow, 4, 3, 4, whatever, no big deal. Um, if this goes up to like 7 or 8, that's a decent chunk, that's like a quarter of my HP. Um, and that's damage I'm going to take over time, plus whatever they hit me with. So don't get cocky about this. Uh, it is actually very dangerous. And now I'm starting to wish... The thing that I froze there that I was thinking about is we've been putting points into Will, like quite a few. 
And now I kind of wish we put them into stealth. Because uh, we could go high stealth with this character and use Dagmore and just get really good assassination hits on people. But all is not lost. Let's, let's not beam on things just yet. Um, this is actually pretty dangerous HP level to fight this thing at, but let's give it a shot. And I think I don't have room for that. This is getting really frustrating. Okay, so... Yeah, and the spear, I actually... 1d10. It's a lot more. Alright, so let's... I'm gonna get rid of this freaking spear now. Let's see. Actually, I might throw it at this werewolf. Get out of my house. Um, yeah, and that Defender Longsword. You know, it's cute, but... Uh, You know what, let's get rid of this ring of sustenance. Because those... They show up reasonably often, too. Ah! Okay, these are not good things to be surprised by. Um, what the shit? They normally show up at depths of 800 feet. Yo, bud, you're like... You're gonna freeze to death up here. Um... So they're, they're really bad with this. Terrify is bad. Confuse is really bad. Entrance is the worst. So I want to get out of sight of this thing. Uh, ASAP, basically. Okay. Not so bad. They're territorial, so if you leave them alone, they'll leave you alone. More or less. But it's hard. It's different than spiders, I think. It's not quite like if you get out of line of sight, they'll stop bothering you. Um, but they also usually have a horde. Not a horde of, like, little dragonettes that come kill you. I mean a horde of treasure. I don't know if the young Drakes get, like, an entire horde. They might just get, like, a, a single item one. Okay, I, yeah, we're... I think we're in, like, a special room area. Although, if this one looks like this... I hope to God there was not a Kevin Roko in here. That was digging its way around. See, now I'm confused. Uh, and I have nothing that can anti-confuse me. Do I? Let's see. I don't think potions of healing do it. Heals all cuts. I don't know why he's chasing me. Oh, I should have put on my ring of free action. Okay. That to me is strange. I thought they were supposed to be territorial, but maybe the young ones aren't. Maybe it's the, uh, the great ones. I should have actually... Can I go back to the monster memory? How do I do that? Known monsters. Young dragons. Young cauldron. It does not deign to pursue you, really. Because that looked like pursuit to me. Um, I'm not sure why I did that. I was very lucky though, he entranced me and uh, and bit me for 2d21 and did almost no damage, so... I 
I could probably crush him really fast if I use my Nergatron uh, sword. Okay, did I fix things so that I have room? Yes, I do. So let's try to great sword this thing. And this is what I meant about special areas again. So I think this area is another special area. Like, they are going to occur with greater frequency as we get deeper. So it means that a lot of the monsters we're fighting are out of depth. Um, that's kind of creepy. He was just sitting on a human skeleton. Ouch. So now I wonder if we should change our plans, because the faster we can use Dagmar, the better. We want to get Zone of Control and Momentum. But how far away are we from... I need to take Hardiness. It's a thousand. Twenty-five hundred. Basically, if I go this Will route, I'm probably not going to go Stealth at all. I might try to take Opportunist if I have experience at the end of the game, but I won't do that a lot. Um, wow, this place is crazy. Shit. Okay. Ah, uh, I should have looked. That was a panic reaction. I should have looked to see what he was sitting on. Those things are really bad for us. Um, and I don't mean like they're, they're bad for you if you eat them. Um, They're bad because I have nothing to resist ice right now. And I have no way to protect against their breath, other than my kite shield, which actually is pretty good. And I also don't know if he can bash through this door. Doesn't look like he's coming out. Okay. Let's let's just leave that one the way it is for now. I'm so indecisive with experience this game. Oh, hi. This is perfect. The, see, I'm, I don't care about werewolves when they're like this, because I know he's not going to get away now. Bitch, how do you like it? You know how many ways I... How many times have werewolves killed me in that exact situation? Where I'm the one trapped against the wall. Um... Yeah, I feel like going against that... Serpent at this point is a really like dumb move, which means I'm probably gonna do it. That's okay. Uh... Oh, he had nothing behind him too. Okay, that's not bad. I can deal with that. Okay. Uh, so, what happened there was that breath is usually really painful. No, it's not crazy. It's like twenty damage or something. Um, but I wish I had actually looked. How do you go back to your... Yeah, I don't think there's a history for combat rolls. Um, and I don't know if it shows up even when they breathe on you. Anyhow, um, the only protection you get is from your shield, from rings of protection, and from uh, like abilities that you have. So we did okay, like we had 1d8 protection. If he does, you know, 20 damage or something in, right in our face, uh, yeah, maybe it's not the greatest, but... So let's put that round shield back on. And not, not too shabby. Yeah, that grinding noise, it's making me nervous. I'm worried that it's there's a Kemen Rico around and he's hes just going to come punch me in the face. Maybe that... I mean, there could be another worm masses in here, too. Another potion of awkwardness. A really nice short bow, which I'm going to take. A nice potion of healing. Staff of foes, not bad. Okay, those are cool to have. Um... That Sharpo's insane, actually. 
this would be a great weapon for uh, an archer. Unfortunately, we're going to lose a damage side, which for us... Oh, no, we won't. Derp. It's... Yeah, I'm an idiot. Um, but it would be great for criticals. Although, I think they changed the rules. This was another thing. Archer got a bunch of changes. Um, in addition to, like, the damage dice scaling thing. I think one is the... Oh, no, criticals, yeah, that would stay the same. I'm an idiot. But crippling shot changed. Before it used to be, I think if you got, what was it, if you got like a double or a triple critical, you always got to slow the monsters down, whereas now it depends on, they get a, like, you go against their will, and depending on how many criticals you get, that's what determines whether you cripple. I wonder if it's the same thing for Cruel Blow now, is it? Yeah, again. Which is kind of a neat thing. It means you can't just like... There, I think there were situations before where you would shoot a monster, you would do no damage, but it would be a quad critical and they'd be slowed, which is a little bit cheap. I don't know, Clouded, if you're watching this, I'm not sure this is a great idea. But I've never done it before, so what the hell. I mean, uh, I'm so used to playing the end game with low will that maybe it'll be refreshing to uh, actually be able to resist things. Yeah, let's do it. Hello. Yeah, let's let's do this first. I'd like to be able to hit things. Sorry, bud. Don't. Uh, for crying. It touches you? Is that what that said? I think there's a shadow here, which is really bad for us to fight right now, because we don't have... Good. Oh, those things, are they... Do they count as Roko? I don't think so. Ow. Actually, that didn't hurt at all. Um... Is this the first? And it's a hatchling. Okay, I do this all the time. Um, you get so I get so used to seeing those little red Ds. I'm like, oh, cute! It's a little baby. It's not dangerous. Uh, at some point, you're gonna start meeting young fire drakes, which are way more dangerous. And then they're just like a slightly different shade of red. Um, but they do all those things like try to entrance you and stuff, whereas these little guys don't know how to do that yet. What was I doing? Oh yeah, I want my dwarf mask. Might as well. So cute. Oh, did I pick up that staff of foes or no I didn't. Wow, I'm such a tool. Wasted so many turns. Okay. Let's go back to What am I going back to? I'm a little bit hungover today, so this is probably not the best time to be playing this game. I was just doing something. Oh, yeah, you know what, I'll just keep the jewel on for a while, whatever. Let's take this. I have no idea what I'm going to get rid of to take that staff of foes. Uh, I'm not even sure it's... I mean, it's handy to have. I guess I could start whittling away at this ridiculous armory that I'm carrying with me. Because realistically, like, I will eventually take two weapon fighting, but it's not going to happen for a long time. And do I really need to lug all this shit around just until then? So let's get rid of this defender. And I still have enough stuff right now, though, that I still can't take off my shield, right? So, so uh... Being able to use that is a big help. Uh, if we get into a jam, because especially we're about to hit the Cat Warrior floor. And Cat Warriors, I mean, if you yell at them too loud, they, they run away. Uh, so it's it's good to get them off your back if you make a mistake and wander into uh, into a crowd of them. I could... See, these two, Gondolin and Doriath, Gondolin's becoming less useful. Because there aren't going to be any more orcs anytime, like after a certain point. And Troll Guards... Like, the trolls that we're going to fight, uh... Hey, this will be a good weapon, but it's not super overpowered or anything. Does Dagmar slay anything? No, right? It slays darkness. It's the Dark Slayer. 
I haven't used this male corslet in a while, and I'm trying to think of a situation other than cat assassins where I might ever need this again. The other thing I could do is either ditch my booze or incredibly good and wear free action all the time, which is actually not a bad idea. Because, like that dragon that we ran into, the cold drake, he could have entranced us without us seeing him first. Uh, maybe I'll do that. This isn't the most brilliant thing in the world, but it's not crazy either, so... Vanilla Cloak. Oh shit. This... So, okay, I should make a couple comments often, which is why I'm really scared of them. Um, taking sprinting or finding boots of speed can really change how dangerous they are. Because if you can run away from them, their breath, for every step farther away than... Um, Let's say they hit you from one square away, or they hit you from two squares away. Like as the farther away they get, their damage drops off a lot. Uh, <clears throat> and so being able to run away helps a lot. With us, we can't really run away. The only situation in which we'd get a square away from them is if they decided to breathe, in which case we're taking damage. Uh, let's switch over to this kite shield again. Oh, well, he's making room in my inventory for me. Yeah, although we hit hard enough now that it's okay. Uh, what is going to be really bad are the ancient ones. I have no idea. Like, I literally have no idea how we're going to deal with those. So, Kind of a bummer I lost my true sight potion, but hey. So if I was scared of Kevin Rocco, this is not the way to be walking. But I don't think Kevin Rocco dig through walls just for fun. Is that a potion of healing up there? What is that? Why did I not pick that up? What, like, am I even paying attention to what's going on here? Oh yeah, I wanted to look at their damage. Yeah, 3d5. I'm gonna sneeze that. Okay, let's try to see if we can find a different route up to that healing potion room. We're not super far ahead of the clock, so I'm trying to... But at the same time, I usually die faster than this, and then I just die. Uh, so I'm going to try and take it a bit slower this game. I'm not a very... Well, I'm just not a very good player, but that's a whole other story. That's a decent longsword. I don't really see that I would use it right now, though. Yeah, what the hell. I mean, that, uh, what was it? That something busted my true sight potion. Actually, maybe we'll get that point of constitution earlier than I thought. This is also the stage in the game where I start playing really slow, uh, so... You have to have patience with me. I want to try something. So if I put on this male corslet, and I put on this kite shield, so I have 5 to 22 protection now. If I jump in, whee! Ah, so I think that's just the message you get when it does a legit combat roll, and it, um, it fails to hurt you. Okay, cool. I was curious about the mechanics of those things before. Because some of these messages I, was, I would get, like, your armor protects you and stuff, I wasn't sure if uh, if it was based on a skill check or if it was just, like, a message that nothing happened.
My gondolin sword is glowing, so I might as well put it on. You don't have any buddies? It's all the solo trolls. Emo trolls, this game. You see, damage output, the way I used to play at this stage is that I'd be worried that they were going to hurt me. So I would try to always have my shield on all the time, and I would try to whack them to death with the sword. If you can kill them in two turns, why not? You know, that's far less damage they're going to do to you in the long run, but you have to have a decent melee score. Um, and like, see, this is, using this greatsword against like a greater werewolf would probably be an iffy proposition, because I don't know how much I would hit it. So apparently there's some kind of, either a dragon or a Roko around. Where's my shield? Get out of here. You hear a warning shout. What could possibly be shouting? You know what? I don't want to find out. It's actually really annoying that I haven't found any true sight options at this stage in the game yet. So, <laughs> sucker. One of the strategies I found that works pretty well against Sulroko like that Usually when I'm fighting them, I'm impatient. I just want them to die, so I just keep spamming. But if you have room to retreat, and you're reasonably sure there aren't difficult monsters behind you, what I like to do is retreat a square and see if it appears, because that means that you've succeeded in your perception check for that turn, and then hit them when you can see them, because you don't get the melee um, penalty. And then back off if you can't see them in the next turn and so on until you can, you know, get, like let's say I ran into this giant in the hall while I was running from him, that you're fucked. Like that is so bad because now you're taking the evasion penalty from um, being surrounded, which is not how you want to fight a giant. Uh, plus, there's no way, like there's no easy way out. You're not going to get easily through the Soroko and you're not going to get easily through the giant, so... I, s I still don't understand... So what, I'm 6'10", I'm running around the dungeon, you know, burning a lot of calories. How can I be full from eating a little piece of bread? What have I eaten since I got here? It's, uh, mind you, I'm Italian, so I may have different ideas about food, but, like what, a, a couple of little pieces of, I had one piece of lembas. What else did I eat? Various herbs. Little scrawny elves. I hate you. This is like, honestly, sometimes these slain weapons are more trouble than they're worth because the monsters get really frightened. How did you get up here? Maybe netherworm messes and dragonflies have an affinity for each other we don't know about. Oh. That, my friends, is a shadow spider. So I think he's here. He's hitting 2d9, so that's a shadow spider. I think he's here. I think if I step back one, he won't be able to see me anymore. Yeah, okay, so we're good. Okay. My most hated monster of the game. So what I want to do is curse and scream. But other than that, I'm going to put this great sword on. I'm going to wield my brass lantern. I'm going to step up here. 
Now I can already see him. But the next thing I could have done was drop this jewel. And this thing will probably still own me. Like, they're not easy. I, I don't know. Um, I should alias some of my weapons again. It's starting to get out of hand. Where's... No. No, I don't want to inscribe Herbs of Rage. At W1. No, don't inscribe them like that. What I want... Is my shield... Yeah, it's two. My great sword. I want to make... Ah, uh, forget it. That's good enough. Okay, yeah, I don't really need to go explore every nook that the nether worms dug out. I'm not their foreman. They can do whatever they want. I was complaining the other day on the farms that the ring rook are actually too easy, but that they're not too bad actually. They have, they've hurt me, you know. It, they're not super scary, but. They could probably use a bit of a, a boost. Is that a mithril shield? I don't really know what to do with myself right now. I'm worried also that there's a dragon in here. My, my sword's not going, so... What's that thing? A long sword. Okay, these rooms with like mega rubble, I think these are also special rooms. I might be wrong, but I wonder if there's anything back here. Uh, why? Why did I have to be curious? Plus 14 evasion. What's his protection? 3d4. Do they move slowly? Sorry to keep doing this. I should just read 12d4, that's a lot of help. So these things eat your food out of your stomach, basically. But free action... Why am I missing it? Are you serious? I guess, yeah, it does dodge pretty well. Pair of Greaves, that was totally not worth it. What's this? More Poisoned Arrows, that's actually kind of worth it. Okay, so another question is... Yes, I think I will take the Mithril Shield instead of the Kite Shields. How do I have no room for it? What did I just take? That Oh, the Ring of Warmth. I don't know. So let's just think. In any situation where I would use this long sword, I would probably use Dagmar instead. So let's get rid of that. As cool as it is, let's take this. But now I'm still in. Oh, and I don't have my shield on Wicked, so this does mean... Let's wheel Dagmar for a few minutes. Let's just see how it goes. I think for anything that has reasonable... And you know what? I could, at this point, probably just wear that Mithril Shield. I'll lose an Evasion Point and a Melee Point, but... Well, anyways, let's not get cocky. Just see it. Let's keep going. I took the Mithril Shield because... Uh, so, it would cost us 1,000 experience to take Jeweler. If, and how much does that shaft count? Um, I think you only need a pound of mithril to make a Fionorian lamp. So if I meet, if I find a forge, a thousand experience for a Fionorian lamp is, that's a pretty good trade-off. Because uh, they, they would give me even one more square of light. And then I could ditch this lantern. Although if I find a lantern at true sight later, yeah, I don't know. Let's see, plus it's cool to carry mithril shit around, I don't know. What can I say? I actually, 
No, let's see if this works out, actually. So Dagbor is not the weapon I want to use against this thing. 2d12. Against 3... What's 3d9? No, okay. So let's... Why can't I beat Fire Serpents? You know? Like... Oh, I have my Ring of Warmth now, actually, so it's not as bad. Yeah, okay, so this isn't a big deal anyway. Uh... All right, let's try to fight it like this and see what happens. Why not? What's the worst that can happen? Oh, I forgot they move erratically too. That's not too bad. Oh, I'm not gonna get 2d12. I don't have momentum yet. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm not too shabby. Actually, let's do this for a while. This thing's pretty cool. The shadow bat misses you, and yet I can't see it. How long have I been playing? It feels like a really long time. What am I doing? Um, oh, I was about to ask why I have so much light, but it, I forgot Dagmar uh, lights up the dungeon. What did I just see? Was that Othrod? Oh, yeah. Uh, I love fight. Why are they running? <laughs> How are you guys already scared of me? I do not understand. Am I really giving off that much light? I'm just... If there's a staircase down here, I'm going to absolutely freak out. Let's... Fuck off. Come here, my precious. I just want to talk to you. It's been so long. Stop it. What could I do that would make him scared? I mean, make him confident again. I want to give him back his self-confidence. He's a beautiful human being. Well, orc being. I really don't know why he's so scared. I didn't do anything to them. I didn't... Hmm. Okay, let's see if I can manipulate the fleeing AI. Yeah, I don't think I can. I really need the Benny Hill music. Okay, so it's a it's a bit darker in this room, so I think that's probably why. No, I definitely don't want him to go that way. Which I think he did already. Alright, so I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to fight him. that's a lot of turns to waste, but he drops such good stuff. Okay, so I'm going to drop my light. Okay, this is probably... Actually, no, I don't want to drop it. I want to get it. Yeah, perfect. This is what I want. I can't imagine that the number of turns I'm wasting on this is worth it, but... Okay, so I'm just gonna... You know, I'm just gonna keep exploring the level, and if he shows up again, great. But... Best boots. Amazing. Okay, so now I don't need this ring of reaction anymore. Um, and we got Wicked Evasion from those. That's awesome. Awesome. I'm stoked about this. Flask of oil. Uh, why not? Yeah, sure.
I'm really bummed about Othrod. I really want to kill. Although I can't complain. You know that little mini orc. Oh, okay. So let's. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Let's get him in a situation where he can't get away. Yeah. Okay. I think we're good here. Um. Am I really not? What's his evasion? His evasion is plus seven. No, plus 10. Why is he only getting plus 7? Does that not say plus 7? Oh, because of the light level. Okay, so I think I mentioned this before, that light... Any monsters who are vulnerable, every bit of light radius that you have on around you, it, it, um, it penalizes them that much. So I think if I drop the jewel on the ground, you'll see that he gets plus 5 or something. Of course, no, you won't, because... What's his protection? 44. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I can't believe he got away. This is unbelievable. You know what? How did he get all the way down there? And he's unwary, so he's probably just gonna chill there for a while. Okay. Please do that again, it tickles. Um, Yes! Finally! Freaking... And all I got to show for it was a throwing axe of Hatter's House. And a Battle Axe of Doriath. What a waste of turns. To well, I guess we have the experience, but... Fuck. Okay. Well, what are you gonna do? Um... So at this stage, I could take follow-through. Not too useful on its own, but it would open up for momentum. Or, I could keep going with Will. Let's keep going with Will for a bit, but let's... That was a productive floor. I'm happy about that. Um, any floor where you find Finrod is a, is a good floor. So, the staircase is that way. Let's head over there. This is a down shaft. That is not what I want. Is there just a normal downstairs? Balls. Well, I guess we're going straight down to 700 feet, boys and girls. Okay, so now all we need is 2,000 experience and, oh, 1,500, and we can get another point of constitution. Um, and then after that, we'll probably keep working on melee invasion for a while, because they're still pretty pathetic. But what I would like to get next is, is momentum. Just to show you guys how it works, and then we can, we can use Dagmore, and, and things will be grand. Um, let's just check our, our not wearing anything stupid. Well, honestly, the boots of Finrod, this plus three evasion is amazing, because what that means is that I can hold off on boosting evasion 
for like five, I don't know, like 4,000 points of experience worth of evasion I don't have to put into it to stay at plus 23. Um, so that lets us invest in will. So like the points that I would have put in evasion anyways, I might as well just dump them into will now and take constitution because it's I haven't really lost any ground. Um, and then me, 700 feet, not the best. It's not awful. If I need to hit something, like the cats are really hard to hit, I can switch to Dagmore and I'll be back at uh, almost plus 20. But that's that's a big hole in our build right now. Uh, perception is going to start being a problem because we only have nine. Uh, and the difficulty with that is that there are traps everywhere and we're going to hit them all, pretty much. And we won't be able to open secret doors ever. And we still don't have true sight. So it's actually at this point not a big deal that we don't have true sight anymore. You really want it at around 600 feet because of the Sirocco, and then you really want it again. I think it's not a problem again until Cat Warrior, uh, Cat Assassins are a really bad one. Yeah, I think Cat Assassins are invisible, not dark. Cause yeah, they're invisible, so th that's really bad to not be able to see them. But they happen pretty deep. They're like we'll probably meet them soon, but 800 feet or so. And then uh, Hithroko, which don't appear until, like, way, way deep. Um, so, yeah, True Sight, it's it's kind of... You need it in the middle of the game, and then it's not a big deal for a little while, and then you need it again at the end. Uh, but it's always good to have it, because uh, without it, you can get yourself into a lot of trouble. Especially the Cat Assassins, they're awful. Uh, if you can't see them, they just... They will kill you in a second. Um... Because right now, all of our defense comes from evasion, pretty much. Mind you, I do have this Mithril Shield and this Male Corslet, so that might help. But all it takes is, you know, even if you have a lot of protection, if your evasion sitting around, like, plus 12 because they get the, uh, the, the bonus against you and they hit for, like, a triple critical or something, which is not uncommon, um, I'm dead because my HP sucks. So, it, it, yeah. Anyways, mixed bag. That's enough ranting. I should probably, like, restore this point of grace at some point. Let's just... Yeah, let's eat that Lambus, whatever. Um... Yeah, alright, cool. Uh, so far, so good. I will see you guys next time.